The way we all work continues to change as the economy recovers from the pandemic. But should a four-day work week be one of those changes? Let's bring in Joe O'Connor. He's the CEO of a four-day week global, a nonprofit conducting research on the impact of the four-day work week. Joe, first, let me ask you, what are you doing working on a Friday? Well, the four-day work week doesn't necessarily mean that everyone has Fridays off. Um, we right. believe in a flexible application of the four-day work week. So today, I'm working. Today, you're working, and I'm, I'm glad you are. It, tell us what you found in your research here. So we've been running these pilot programs all over the world this year, and we've had companies here in North America, in Australasia, and also in Europe participating. <laughs> so over 180 companies worldwide, with about 60 here in North America. The first company started their trials in February. We have a larger cohort who starts in April. So as yet, we don't have final results from these initial trials, but we do have some of the midpoint findings. And what they're suggesting is very statistically significant improvements in employee well-being indicators, such as stress, burnout, improved sleep, and improved life-work balance amongst employees. We're expecting to have a final report available next month which will include the company-level data. But we have some anecdotal evidence which suggests that for the companies who have been participating, they have been able to maintain revenue, they have been able to maintain productivity, and in many cases, they've actually been able to improve it. If they're able to do that in a four-day work week, does that tell you that what we've been doing in sort of office culture for decades is wrong? You don't need to work that many days. You can get the same amount of output out of people in four days as you could in five. I mean, were we all wasting time in the office all these years? Well, I think what it tells us is that before the pandemic, we had the technological capacity and the productivity <clears throat> to be able to, to work shorter while maintaining the same output. The pandemic has turbocharged this idea. It's really started the conversation. But what we already know is that for most office workers, they're only truly productive for around three hours per day. We, we know Three hours per day? According to British research, truly wow. productive for three hours per day. We also know that in most office-based professions, we are currently wasting between two to three hours a day on overlong and unnecessary meetings, distractions and interruptions in the workday, and poor use of technology. And what we're finding in these trials is that when companies actually get serious about tackling these inefficiencies and these wasteful practices within their businesses, that actually offering a four-day work week without sacrificing performance or Joe, productivity is Joe, what we're I've got to wrap it up here. I hear you on the overly long meetings, though. I appreciate you working on a Friday. Thank you, Joe O'Connor. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.